today's video I will show you how you can create this awesome halftone effect in DaVinci Resolve. To get started, drag your video clip onto your video layer. Then open the effects panel and drag a fusion composition on top of it. Drag it out to make it the same length and go to the fusion page. In here, drag in two background nodes and connect them with a merge node to the media out. On the background node that is not connected to the yellow input, go to image, deselect the auto resolution and change the height and the width to the same number. Now you can click on this little icon on the background node to make it visible on your screen. Go back to the color and change it to white. Then drag in an ellipse mask and connect it to the background. Now we change the width to 0.45 and the height also. And the soft edge I will change to 0.3. I will press Ctrl C on the ellipse and Ctrl Shift V to place an instance of this ellipse. So the values are linked to our origin ellipse. I will right click on the center attribute and press D instance. Then I will drag it to the top left, and change the center values to 0, 1. Then I will press Ctrl Shift V again and connect it. I will D instance this too and I will place it on the top right. This is 1, 1. And I will do the same for the bottom left and the bottom right. D instance 0, 0. Control Shift V. D instance 1, 0. Now we can change the view back to our media out and drag in a transform node after the background node. And in here we can change the size to 0 0.08, no, another 0. And on the edges change it to wrap. So the whole screen is filled by our dots. Now I will change the angle. Uh, I will use a 25 degree angle. And now we are ready to go back to the edit page. Here we can click on this fusion composition and change the composite mode to hard mix. As you can see, we still have colors. We right click the bottom video layer and open it in the fusion page. Here we will press shift A and add a contrast, a brightness and contrast mode. With this node, you can drag down the saturation. Now it looks like this. It's still not finished. We can improve it a little bit by using an adjustment clip over our fusion composition. And with this adjustment clip, we will go to the fusion page again and add a blur node. This makes it look much better. If you want to make some changes, to the exposure of the image, you can do this on the original clip again in the fusion page with this node. So maybe let's lift the gain and the brightness, improve the contrast. And now it looks like this. And that's basically it. You can just drag in another clip and this is rotated the wrong way, so we'll change it and scale it up. If you drag the fusion composition and the adjustment clip over it, it will have the same effect. And if you want it to be in black and white, you go to the fusion page and add your contrast and brightness node.
If you liked this video, subscribe to my channel and watch this next video.